here with all the details on how you can catch a glimpse of unique birds is education director for the Houston Audubon, Mary Ann Weber and Simon. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. You're very welcome. Um, this is amazing. I really, like, I'm trying hard because I want to reach out and touch Simon, but I know I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Simon probably wouldn't enjoy that. <laughs> right, not at all. Simon did not say to but do that. But he does seem right. very calm, though. She. She, she does seem yes. very, very calm. She um, visits hundreds of schools every year, hospitals and libraries, so she's, she's used to the fanfare. How did you guys get her? So I have a friend who lives in Wyoming who runs a rescue organization for wild birds and Simon was brought to her with a broken wing and a broken leg. She had been hit by a car. She was rehabbed but unable to go back into the wild and so they shipped her to us on Delta and came to Houston to start First her education. That's right. I love it. Start her education career. That is incredible. And her head can't quite turn 360 degrees, but it turns a heck of a lot more than a human head does. Yes. 270 degrees? 270 degrees. degrees. They have twice as many neck bones as we have, 14 vertebrae, and they can spin their head 270 in both directions. Unbelievable. And uh, what the number one predator of skunks, is that right? They enjoy a skunk on, an, on occasion, yes. They don't mind smelling bad. They think skunks are delicious. And That's a large horned, I know, it's a large thing to eat. Right? Isn't it? I know, but. You know, they got to stay nourished. Um, great horned owls. We and I were chatting a little bit earlier. Uh, they're around Houston, right? Absolutely. They have figured out how to live in the urban landscape in our city parks, our county parks, even in, in neighborhoods. There's plenty of prey for them to go after, and it's not uncommon to see them in just the regular neighborhoods around town. Is there anything that we can do to help with that at all? Like. Um, probably the number one thing is to not use any kind of rat poison on your property because that could potentially poison them if they eat a rat or a mouse that's oh, been wow. poisoned. And just not littering, you know. Um, keeping garbage out of our streets keeps the rats and the mice out of the streets, which attract them, and right. they unfortunately get hit by cars quite often. Oh, wow. In addition to their eyesight, I understand they have a very acute sense of hearing, and yes. that's how they can discover that prey is there? Yeah, so a lot of their prey stays hidden after dark, um, or in the wintertime is tunneling under leaves up north under snow, and they are able to, to stay in their location on their territory year-round because they can hear their prey, whereas a lot of other birds have to migrate during the winter. Um, and they actually nest in the wintertime. They start laying eggs in December because they're such top predators. They can raise their families in the dead of winter and be done before spring even gets here. Oh what incredible creatures. Simon, thanks for coming. And I know we're going to switch you out, right? Because we have... Um, we're going to bring in um, another bird, we have our another Mississippi bird. kite and Dawn. We'll do a little switcheroo. Simon Thanks, Simon. Simon is really incredible. I know. How much does Simon weigh? Um, she's a little over three pounds. Okay. Um, so, so this is the, the Mississippi kite, mm -hmm. and this is a bird that was originally discovered what, about 200 years ago mm -hmm. in Louisiana. In 1806, it's a bird that would typically be found in the southern U.S., and thanks to changes in the environment, they're becoming more and more common here in the Houston area. They love golf courses for nesting sites. They love city and county parks. And um, this particular bird was found in Corpus. Oh, wow. It's a long distance migrant. They migrate all the way to South America every year. She was on her first migration. So I often tell kids, you know, this bird was four months old making its first trip wow. without GPS right. to uh, Brazil. Trip. And she unfortunately struck some power lines and ended up with a broken wing, which was repaired, but her wing is slightly crooked so she can't go back to living in the wild. But it just um, shows you one of the many obstacles that migratory birds face um, between power lines, storms, hitting glass yeah. windows and buildings, predators. Um, they face a lot on their migration and many of them don't survive their migration. So at Houston Audubon, we work really hard to preserve critical habitat so they can find refuge along the way. Right. And of course, educate people about their importance. It's so fascinating to me, just this, the story and the trips that they've been able to make. What does Skeeter like to eat? Skeeter and Mississippi kites predominantly eat a lot of large insects, cicadas, grasshoppers, dragonflies, but they'll also eat tree frogs, uh, mice, small birds. In captivity, they eat mice and rats, but in the wild, she would have quite a varied diet of heavily, relying heavily on insects, which is why they have to migrate so far south every right. single year. And Marianne, before, uh, before we go, if someone out there wants to learn more about how they could get involved in the migration, what are some of the ways? 
So we, Houston Audubon offers lots of opportunities around the city for birding every month, free. Anybody at any level, just novices on up through experts can join us for our bird surveys. We also have a fun event happening right now called Birdathon. Families and teams and friends get together and it's kind of like a walkathon, but it's a birdathon and you try to find as many birds as possible. We team you up with people who know how to find them and Houston is a mecca for birds and bird watchers. Um, people will be coming here from all over the world in the next six weeks to see migrants that are hitting the Upper Texas coast. So we're, we're world famous. We should all be real proud of that. And absolutely, absolutely. And, and welcoming our visitors coming absolutely. in. Absolutely. Uh, for more information, just visit the Scene on Houston Life section of our website. Marianne, great to see you. And Thank Dawn, you. Thanks to you as well. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Bye, Simon. Bye, Simon. Bye, Bye Skeeter. Skeeter.